I mean, just look at that. That's crazy. Can you imagine living here? Living right next to these? It's incredible. We're going back to the mountains. Yes, we're going to a different mountain. Yes. The other side of the same mountain uh, range. Which is the west slope? I think we're still going to be on the, this one. I never quite got what people were talking I about. I didn't that. quite yeah. get Like there's a west slope and then there's no east slope. And there's it's a door. Um, we're trying so hard. We've tried two different types of magnets on our doors. Anyway, side note. We're going to Netherland. Nederland. 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 Uh, Nederland? I think that sounds right. Okay. Otherwise, it sounds like we're saying the Netherlands. I know, Nederland. And we're going to try to find a spot in the National Forest so that we can just like hang out for a few days. Yeah, it's been kind of go, go, go since we left home on the 6th. We're very excited to sort of spend probably in Vigo. Two or three days, yeah, in the same spot and kind of set up camp a little bit. Try out our awning. Thanks, Brant. And we just stocked up on food. Yep. And alcohol. Yep. And watermelon. And watermelon. We got a whole watermelon. There's nowhere to put a whole watermelon. Yeah, we're but gonna eat a whole watermelon. It's in the couch. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see where we end up camping. Hopefully somewhere pretty. Well, I was gonna do that, but Steve would hate it. Do it anyway. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. One of the biggest reasons we're excited about having an oven is so that we can make roast vegetables. Just like those. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's a lot of broccoli, but we're excited. It's really good. I woke up in the middle of the night <laughs> to a scratching sound. And it was very concerning because I had been dreaming about bears and because Alec and I had talked about what we would do if a bear came and I was laying there trying to figure out what it might be and then Alec woke up so we were both laying there and he got up! And Alec was like, no, it's just the chip bag! So I got up and looked I saw it in the cabinet, and then it ran away and we went and climbed in our headliner. It's, it's, like, it's somewhere in there. The edges of our cabinets don't completely seal. There's like a little bit of a space between the back wall, so it just fit over and then could go in between every single one that way. We think it was trying to eat our rice, but then we just stuffed a towel in and it couldn't get back in. It was very concerning. Didn't sleep for about an hour. <laughs> what are you? Why are you so cute? Oh my god, he's on your- you just tried to climb your chair. He's on your foot. Why are you done? That's too close. That's fine. Why is this guy go over there? And away from me. I don't like bees. I like <laughs> bees, but just not near me. <laughs> I can't do this now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have an idea about how to keep the bees away. Mostly because Alec is having small seizures every time one comes near him. Hey kid, you are home. What more did you want? <laughs> so long. Handle it. <laughs> 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 
there. <laughs> Just a little bit, don't waste it. We have an altar for the bees. <laughs> there were three cans over there. <laughs> they all fell down. Let them go. Oh wow, they're so cool. Look at they're so fuzzy. You can do that now. Ah! One little guy is left. He's drunk on sugar. <laughs> for winter. It was a crazy adventure almost getting there. Almost getting there? Yeah. How in the heck do you get there? <laughs> <laughs> so you want, do you want to go there, Alex? Let's go. <laughs> but how in the heck do you how get there? How in the heck do you get there? We're uh, taking a break from our relaxing and chilling and we're just gonna hike. Up the road a bit. To a lake that Elk really wants to go to. Yeah, it's a glacial glacial lake. Uh, the review it's called Glacier Lake. Well, either way, uh, the reviews on Google said that the lake is hard to find. So people were like, "Where the heck is this? I had to turn around and leave." So here's hoping, here's hoping we find it. Also, we left the van because we didn't want our spot to get to it. Yeah. yeah. So also, here's hoping that no one steals their van. It, it's not that it's tricky to find, it's that it's completely gated off. It's private property on all yeah. ends. Yeah, I swear, it's like every like 100 feet we pass one of these. Yeah, no trespassing. Guarded and prosecuted by GLPO Incorporated. It's all very yeah, official. We walked all the way around yeah. to see if we could even get it on the other side, and it's also private property. Yep. So wonder what's up there. Yeah. We're thinking a government facility. Nuclear testing, aliens. Insane asylum. Yeah, probably all of them. Well, see you back at the van. As you saw, we had a mouse problem the first night, and it was no different the second, except we guarded up the food. But this morning, we found some mouse droppings in some drawers, and I could hear them last night when I was just going to bed. So I was jumping around the van, pounding on stuff. But now, with the help of YouTube and Google, we're gonna make a little homemade mouse trap. Humane, it's not gonna kill them. We'll just put them in a bucket if they do come in, and then we'll release them in the morning after we laugh at them. All right, now we got holes and everything. The bungee goes through the holes. And basically, that's it. We'll, uh, some people put water in here, but then that kills them. But we'll put peanut butter on this. So if they even if they get onto this, it spins, then they'll try to walk out on here, try to get onto this, and then everything will roll and they'll fall in. And then we'll keep them as pets. So there's already one in there, we think. Yeah. How do you know it's in there? You can see him jump the track right now. We're gonna see how many we caught. It's been out here a few minutes. Oh my god. I mean, they're cute, but they're gross. We caught quite a few mice. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then we realized we don't know what to do with them. Yeah, we have absolutely no We don't want to kill them. The plan was just to lure them away from the van, but we need the trash can back in here. And we also, we don't want to let. Um, the trap sit out there overnight because you're not supposed to leave food, so. We don't want any bears. <laughs> it's pointless, basically. No, it's not pointless. It, it works. It works very well. And we're going to let him go far uh, away from here. Mm -hmm. So, let's go. And just like that, we have pets. <laughs> Alright guys, time to go. Thanks for spending the night in Clover. Thanks for not eating our food. It's okay. There you go. Ah! <laughs> it's your foot. It's okay. It's too good to be true. The under the lock. Okay. Bye, guys. Driving into Reynard Lake <laughs> Recreation Area. Three days. We were all by ourselves at our I know. <laughs> Our hiking to Lake Isabel. It was recommended by our friend Amaya. Thanks, Amaya. It's not very much elevation gain. 
That's over nice. like eight ish miles. So it should be pretty chill. Just kind of like a walk. Yeah. And it is a glacial lake. I like to swim. But I want to swim. <laughs> so let's see if that happens. <laughs> See him right there, the moose. Holy cow! Fourth day, I only ever saw one moose in my life. Really? We're so confident. It's, uh... Like you know that water where you get it in, like with your chest tight, because it's so cold. Yeah. It's just like it's not done. It is uh, not gonna acclimate. It's just gonna make your feet go numb. That's acclimate. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. <laughs> go, Alec. Go. Garden of the Gods. It is insane. It's like skyscrapers made of rock. They just shoot straight up. It is such a bummer you can't climb here. <laughs> tested the oven before we put it in we've made a lot of stuff as you've seen now in the oven but this this is the real test does it cook a pizza let's find out it works bam <laughs> we, did we have got to make pizza sure to put it on the top yeah because it burned it a little bit on the it bottom. got a little crisp but Not it's like bad. it's kind of like a fire what's it called fire uh pizza oven fire pizza fire brick fire brick oven brick oven brick fire fire brick oven <laughs> there you go <laughs> We're at the Twin Lakes. Yeah, because we were walking around this night and we found a spot we wanted more. But we didn't want to move in the dark. Yeah. So, first thing this morning, we came out here and thankfully it was still free. And. It's the best view. It's the best. Oh, oh. We should wait. just start it. Yep. Look, we even got friends down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. We decided since uh, in the days we're not hiking, because we could drive around a lot and just sit, so we start doing a little workout. And we're at over 10,000 feet of altitude. I think we're at 11. Okay, so there's a little thing that we're used to, but it's good. Honestly, it's like starting hard, <clears throat> and then everything's easier. Right? And now we're gonna go swim. <laughs> that, not as bad. Is that the water we've been in? It's actually cool, you have to be modest, but if it's mm -hmm. actually the English. Oh, my hair is clean. Oh, that's exciting. This 
elevation is really kicking my butt. Just like walking up the hill. The time has come. Boom, gone. kind of waffling on hiking a 14er. Well, we were pretty sure we were gonna hike a 14er, but uh, which one we were gonna do. And then after reading some stuff, we decided to just go big. We're gonna hike Mount Albert, the tallest one. It's also not even the hardest though. People online were recommending this time of year uh, some spikes for your shoes, as well as hiking poles. We're just gonna find some sticks. <laughs> and, but for the spikes, I was like, okay, maybe we'll buy some. They're pretty expensive and there's none really close by. I've got these tiny bungees. And they are going to work as spikes in a pinch, just adding extra grip. Essentially like chains on a tire. I and mean, think about that, there's nothing fancy going on there. You're just putting chains on a tire. So with this here and up there, it's fully secured on my foot. And then you got grip. Easy peasy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one is Mount Albert, but there's a chance it's that one. Looked at the map. That is definitely Mount Albert. That is Mount Massive. There's only four feet of difference between the two of them. Yeah. But we're gonna go with Albert because it is the highest in Colorado and the second highest in the continental United States. In the lower 48. Oh, oh, oh I just learned a word. The con con continue. Co anyway, like it's one of the <laughs> it's the second tallest one, and we're planning on doing the tallest one in the lower 48 maybe next summer. Yeah, Mount Whitney, here we come. Okay, don't want to make you mad. He just cheats where you chip on, but we don't even trip on now. Uh oh, attack squirrel. <laughs> Back away slowly. There she is. We really got the highest spot. Mm -hmm. Do -do. Do -do. Do -do. <laughs> Do you want to come live with us? You can come live with us. <laughs> but so cute. So cute. Okay, well, we're off to, uh, yeah, no, my hair is crazy too. They say the trailhead is open 24 hours. You're not supposed to camp there, but many people have said if you're sleeping in your vehicle, it's yeah. not considered camping. Oh well, yeah, and we're not going to be there for even a full 24 hours too. Yeah. So we're just going to wake up really early. Yeah, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Say goodbye to this, this beautiful spot. It will be mysterious. we've been on top of the entire campsite. Yeah, see? <laughs> so, uh, probably see us tomorrow morning, bright and early, when we're, uh, about to hike in the dark. The second tallest mountain <laughs> in the contiguous, Conti contiguous, contiguous like United word. States. The lower 48. <laughs> Last night in the dark, I needed to pee, so I got out. It was completely dark because there's no lights nearby. I'm standing right here. The campsite over there, there was a dog. It sounded very angry, and I could see its shadow running towards me. So I very quickly opened the door and got back in. Probably the quickest my heart rate has increased in a long time. It looks like a friendly dog in the light, like a doodle of some kind, but the bark was ferocious. So Alec came out and stood guard while I peed.